Hi, this is an introduction to glial cells and education. I'm Dr. Smith Smiley and I'm a teacher. Before I was a teacher, I was a parent, so it probably comes as no surprise that I have some issues concerning education. I'd like to introduce you to glial cells because as I've learned about them, they have changed the way that I view thinking and learning. We all know that there are a lot of neurons in the brain, but what you probably don't know is that there are more glial cells in the brain than there are neurons. Only within the last 20 years have we had the technology to study them, and we've learned that there are lots of different kinds of glial cells. Research on their physiology has shown that while glial cells aren't involved with the transmission of electrical signals and pathways like neurons, they do communicate with each other and with neurons, but not in pathways. Instead, they use puffs of chemicals that lead the cells to float and travel in the fluid of the brain in waves. It's like a pool where the cellular communications can all merge and diffuse and travel in waves to multiple areas of the brain. It now appears that the brain works with glial cells and neurons interacting. Scientists are even reporting that it is the glial cells that have <clears throat> anatomical and physiological properties that may impose a higher order learning organization on information processing in the brain. In other words, it now looks like the information coming in from neurons is controlled by astrocytes, who then relay the information to other brain areas using the fluid medium inside the brain. This is just an introduction, but the fluidity of thought is how I, as a teacher and a parent, have best envisioned learning and I call it the Neurobial Pool Model of Learning. You can visit my website to learn more, and thank you for watching.